What's up guys? Welcome back to Timmy's Investments. Today we're going to be talking about Zendikar Rising, guys. Lots of cool spoilers coming out. If you haven't seen them, check them out. Today we're going to be talking about the three different booster boxes and just kind of explaining and going through what to expect from each different booster box. Because this is the first set, guys. The first time we've ever had three different products to buy for the same set. So it's a little bit confusing. I just want to help, you know, explain what to expect from each one. So let's do it. All right, guys, before we get started, anyone new to the channel, go ahead and do me a favor. Click that subscribe button and click the bell notification so you get notified when I put out a new video. We're going to be doing a lot of box openings on this, guys. I'm really stoked for Zendikar. Just like I was for original Zendikar. And I really hope to open this box on the channel sometime soon. It's an original print run. So there's a very small, small chance we could have a treasure in here, guys. There is a looming... I, I believe there's still one Beta Black Lotus. That is yet to be pulled from the original print run of the Zendikar set. So I really want to open this on the channel. But I'm going to want at least, I don't know, a good amount of subscribers. So I want everyone to see... When this gets open, just in case we pull something good. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, so the first box we're going to look at, guys, is your basic draft booster box. 36 packs and one box topper. In the box topper, it's going to be one of 30 expedition lands, guys. It's going to be a non-foil version. It doesn't appear that these booster packs have any foils. Because the next box we talk about specifically says it'll have a foil. This one says nothing about foils. So I don't think the standard booster box will have any foils, guys. It looks like it's just going to be, you know, 36 packs. Crack them open, do some booster drafts, have some fun with these cards. And on top of that, you get the, the box topper with a non-foil expedition land, guys. Now the second, second box we're going to look at here. It's a little more exciting. It's a little higher priced. I'm not sure what the price is going to actually be at release, but we'll see here, guys. This one's definitely going to be more expensive than your standard booster box. And this one is a set booster box, guys. This box has 30 packs plus one box topper. Same thing. It's going to be The box topper is going to be one of Expeditions, guys. It's also going to be non-foil. So you get 30 packs and one non-foil expedition. Now, here's where it gets a little bit exciting. There's some extra bonuses in these packs, guys. Each booster pack will have a full art card. Similar to, say, Modern Horizons, those art cards, I think they're going to be very similar. And some of them will be signed by the artist, guys. So have full art cards signed by the artist, which is just a kind of cool little bit of a bonus. But then, one in every four packs will have a card from what they're calling the list, guys. And this list is a pool of reprints, ranging from powerful to flat out just overpowered cards from the past. Very similar to the original Zendikar Treasures, guys, but not as overpowered. I mean, those were those cards were just a one-time thing. They'll never do that again. But these cards, I've seen a couple spoilers of the cards from the list. And on there is Food Chain. So you could open one of these booster packs and get a Food Chain. There's um, So not that whole list is not made available yet. But keep an eye on that. There's probably going to be some good cards. They'll probably be, you know... On that list of cards, I'm sure there'll be different different chances of getting them. There's going to be some really good cards that only a few people get. And there'll, there'll probably be some common and uncommon that are, you know, in the majority of the packs. But nonetheless, it's a pretty exciting thing, guys, to be able to pull one in four packs. You'll get a card from the past. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. I like the idea. We'll see how it works. And then, so again, quick recap. 30 packs, one box topper with an expedition, and then 
So one in four packs. So roughly you'll get per box, you'll get about six cards from the past, guys. So that, that could be fun. Hopefully there's some good pulls in there. Hopefully they put some, you know, some really exciting stuff that will make people really want to open these boxes. All right. And lastly, guys, we're looking at the Zendikar Rising Collector Boosters. These actually, guys, these sound like, these sound like they're going to be awesome to me, guys. I hate to say it because they're going to cost about 250 bucks. But in a collector's box, you get 12 booster packs and two box toppers. The box toppers are each going to have one of those expeditions, non-foil. So you'll get two non-foil expeditions plus 12 packs. Now, in these packs, guys, one in six packs, you'll be able, you'll get a full art foil expedition land. That means in a booster box, you will get two non-foil expedition lands plus two foil expedition lands. The only place you can get the foils are in these collector boxes. Sounds pretty good to me, guys. You get four lands, two foils. Plus, in these boxes, guys, each pack includes four rares or mythics. So, so if you get really lucky, you could get four mythics, I believe, in one pack. Six alternate frame cards. At least 11 foils and one full art land. So... The main draw to these collector boosters, they're going to be a lot like the ones we've seen. The Ikoria, the Theros, the Throne of Eldraine, Core 2021. They're going to be similar with all the, the more rares, more mystics, more foils. But the thing that makes them just over the top, guys, you're going to get, in, per box, four expedition lands. Two foil, two non-foil. So... It just seems like it could be an awesome, awesome product, guys. I'm really excited for a lot of the cards. Make sure you check out a lot of the spoilers. They look pretty sweet, guys. Can't wait to get me some Lotus Cobras. Some full art foil Lotus Cobras. There's some really cool stuff with some double-faced cards. Which you can put into play face up or face, you know, one side or the other. They do two different things, like... A forest or a mountain you can have in your hand and play it as a forest or play it as a mountain other cards land slash sorcery cards it's it's i can't wait for this set guys it's gonna be really fun um please comment below if you have any questions or if there's anything you're excited about just let me know looking looking forward to zendikar rising guys this one's gonna be really fun can't wait to open a bunch of boxes on the channel hopefully pull some some awesome showcase expedition lands from the collector boosters really exciting stuff guys can't wait we'll see how it all turns out till next time timmy out